This is the old Southside Food Shopping Center. That has been now vacant with Zippo. I don't think anything in the last two years. The very last thing there used to be uh, some kind of fix that up shop or whatever that was at this end. But this structure here does have one nice advantage. That right there. The Food Lion, or Food Kitty, as my kids and the grandkids call it. And they're packed there, everybody, as we're here on Christmas Eve. And we're just going to take a little walk through and imagine what could be. What could be? One thing we've got is some... Big empty bays. I would say that's probably a straight shot. And you can hear the drip drip of water. I'm actually surprised that for all the rain we had had, it wasn't leaking worse. But uh, I'd say that's 12 foot, 12 foot ceilings. And that's on the acoustic side. If you to go up a little higher, that's probably about 18 foot. A wide open area in here. A variety of things you could obviously do. Those who kind of walk out that, come back out y'all. Hey, got some plants that are going. Not bad. Woohoo! Time to adjust. All right, this I think was a little, a little shop. But hey, look, it comes with its own church. Can't beat that. I'm gonna come back on around here. We'll kind of switch them so you'll have to flip your eyeballs about. We'll kind of come in here. This is not bad shape. That acoustic ceiling is not really wet. In fact, it's not wet. Here it is on this side. The fact that it would need a new roof is probably a, a foregone conclusion. But one thing this definitely has going for it, if I kind of wanders through, and then we may come in one door out the other, is, let's kind of hand off there, and we'll leave that. The larger draw in the area, without a doubt, is across the street, with a food line. Ooh, nice zapatos. Love those. This could be as opposed to that. Okay. Now, this was the liquor store. This probably, yeah, this is locked up. This was, yeah, this was a liquor store, and actually, it's in, it's in pretty good shape. It was the last operating business here. Um, and that was probably six years ago. The other part of this structure here is if you need it, you got expansion. You've got expansion here. Now, this actually happens to be right along the lines as we walk off this direction to the old line parts and traps of the Virginian Railway which is the only reason there is a Victoria 
and one, of course, Henry Huddleston Rogers, who basically, after working for Sandy Rockefeller and making him a lot of money, decided, well, you know, anything you can do, I can do better. So he went into competition. That was a David versus Goliath situation. Though, when it came to <coughs> the gold at the time that ran everything, and no, it wasn't gold, but it was coal, the name of the game was, where can you get the coal? Where can you take the coal and sell it? And how fast can you get it to the point where you can sell it? And that was the point where you had a rail mine totally, totally designed differently than today. Instead of using existing tracks, it went ahead and used give me a straight line as possible as Kim from Galax, Virginia, West Virginia, where the coal line comes down to Sewell's Point, Norfolk, where the coal went out at the time. All right, so here, of course, what you're looking at, you got a nice entrance on that side, but that, of course, is down at the in the park area. On beyond, you can see a the fields. The continuity and the synergy that could be driven between using all alternative like vehicles going up and down in here. This goes on down to Cambridge. Obviously goes in through the school. Uh, they just did recently uh, knock down. They just did recently knock down the old uh, the old high school. And within knocking down the old high school, <clears throat> they're basically uh, trying to uh, find a way to develop that property. They've been working on that for a while. This property sits here. Boom. Right next to the power station. The power lines. So, this next thing, thing is right up the back door. And definitely could uh, become a monster magnet. 8 to 80. I say 8 to 80, I use that as 8 to 80 because that was George Lucas's equation. That was the magic. That was George Lucas's magic. A lot of American graffiti, although that actually is where he first started. Ah, his big thing. But everybody knows basically Star Wars. And the thing about Star Wars was 8 to 80, there was something you could get out of it and enjoy. Now, there's a lot. A lot that could be done right here. Right right here, you got a major, major school. Obviously town. Most of the storefronts are empty. But of course, this is something that would, could really rebirth it, so. Worth checking into, I guess. Plan out, maybe, and see where the value is. After all, hmm. nothing happens until something starts to happen. And if something starts to happen, maybe possible, you can find star value in what does. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Ashes rain. Food line. A lot of music tonight across the street.